I love that uh, this platform allowed uh, some of the founders from, from Ghana, from uh, other places to come in Nairobi, but also investors uh, that uh, were here for uh, the um, AVPA that stayed, uh, but people like me coming from Tanzania to join. So having that network and cross-pollinating ideas and uh, business models that have worked in different places, that helps you to be able to create that social capital that will allow you to scale to other markets. One of the top insights from today, and I think uh, both the people from Rivia, um, both the CEOs from Rivia and also spoke about this was being profitable. Right, building a profitable business model. Don't try to scale the way Silicon Valley scales. That doesn't work as well in Africa because there's not as big of a capital market here for us. So making sure you're really focusing on building a profitable business and doing things that ensure that you can survive because you have to make it through the next month, next year, et cetera, because you never know when that wave of funding is going to come. Yeah, I think some of the discussions talked around exits and, and where we find those. And I think that's an ever evolving topic. So it was great to hear different people's perspectives on that. And I think it's important for both founders and investors to be thinking about that from early days and really understanding what you as the investor or you the founder, where you what where is your exit path or do you want an exit path or do you want to run this business for the rest of your life? So I think there were some really good discussions around that. I know organizing this for 11 years is tough work but we need people doing tough jobs so eric and your partner and angel fair please keep doing it at least once every year and consider coming to tanzania again it's the hot place to be in at the moment congratulations eric congratulations chancel capital this is has been an amazing event both from panelists and uh speak from speaking on panel and also from being in the audience so i would like to thank them for the opportunity to do this kind of event because it's a one-of-a-kind event it's very rare to bring a group of angel investors into one room where they are meant to make these deals you don't see many of this in africa you know a lot of these conferences there are like 400 people in there and you're talking to various investors who may or may not do deals but i think you know having that mentality of like you're coming in here to do a deal has given both the entrepreneurs an incentive to actually continue working on their products and delivering their speech, as well as the investors, an incentive to actually come to this event more times. So I'll say that's, that's the key takeaway. I think they've done a great job of just putting the right people in the room. Uh, some people I knew and, and really enjoy, some people I had never met before, but I think the, the intimacy of this gathering is actually one of the things I liked the most, is, it's not trying to be something it, it's not. It's trying, it, it is really a small gathering of the right people that are all invested in, in growing this ecosystem. So I think job well done to the organizers and I look forward to being part of it in the future.